Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Tree Village and I just popped out of my door and got a message from Isabel. Oh, look at that mantis. He's gonna take on Chatter. That's so cute. But I get, just got a message from Isabel that today is the fishing tournament and actually it was yesterday but we had to do a little bit of time traveling to fix that and I popped right outside of my door. Mantis! <laughs> So cool. We actually had somebody asking for a mantis earlier, so I'm really glad to snag it now. Oh, that's so much fun. But yes, so today is my very first fishing tournament ever. I am so excited, and I think I am going to win. Because do you guys remember what I happen to have stored inside of my little peach dresser? I have something pretty special hiding in there. I am pretty sure if it is anything like the bug tournament, which we managed to win the gold trophy in, then we just need to get the biggest of the big fish. And I have happen to have a big, big fish. I have a whale shark. <laughs> so I do actually have a whale shark that I am tempted to go ahead and see if I can use for the fishing tournament. We'll try that out. We may even go to the island if going to the island and snagging some more creatures from there will help out because I would love to get some of these special items from the fishing tournament. I really wish now that I know how to do the tournaments, I had collected more of the bug items. They would have been perfect for our future museum rooms, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, where'd these tulips come from? I don't think that's how you make hybrids. I'm pretty sure tulips just don't pop up out of nowhere. Hey, Chatter, how are you doing today? Just between you and I, I'm, I'm not very good when it comes to fish flopping about everywhere. Oh, Chatter. Okay, that's kind of cute. All right, and then what do we have in my packs? We have a whole bunch of items we've been collecting, mostly from Tommy and Timmy's store, so I'll be able to buy them from the catalog in the future. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep any of the items in particular. Let me go ahead and put away a few things. Oh, I have the werewolf hood in here. Uh, what do I want to keep out? Where is my fishing rod, actually? I probably want to find wherever I stuck my fishing rod. Let's see, because I'm going to need that for... Yeah, there's my fishing rod. I'm going to need that for what we're going to do. And everything else, I think... Oh, and a Dawn tank. Wow, I have a lot of random items. I think we can go ahead and just, like, get rid of more or less everything else. But you guys have told me that you want to make sure you keep plenty of the masks that you can buy from the Able Sisters because different villagers will be scared by different masks. So even though I am a greenery-loving, plant-loving, animal-loving, asteroid-loving, gem-loving, peaceful person, I actually have a secret side where I'm going to be sh like scaring so many of my villagers later. So we have the ghost mask and the werewolf hood. And I think we have the skeleton hood somewhere. I don't remember where I put it exactly, but we could always get that out. How cool would it have been to be able to set up like one of our future house museums to be entirely turned into some sort of like little haunted house and then use that as like a dream town that you guys could come visit. Oh, that would be so cool. We may even visit some of the future dream towns that people have that are super creepy. Oh, that's what we were gonna start doing on Sundays. Oh, darn but today I really want to do the fishing tournament. So we'll get there, we'll get there. I hope to do more Animal Crossing in the future. A lot of you guys want it as a daily series and I would love that because I love being in my town. Isn't it just wonderful? Tabby, are you going to do fishing too? How's the fishing going? I have been biding my time, but now I'm ready to burst out and shine. I'm going to show everyone what I've got. I'm a superstar fish catcher. Wonderful Tabby. How's, oh, yep, I think she's just going to say the same thing today because it's the tournament. I wonder what Blanche will say about the tournament. Let's go inside and visit her. I haven't seen her house for a little while, so I want to see what kind of items she may have put down to. I actually love it when they change the stuff in their house. Oh, wow, she has a golf bag. She has a golf bag. She has her old shirt. Here's the knife jaw. She has the tatami bed. I love these. Blanche, is there any way I could convince you to share some of your adorable flowers with me? How are you doing today, my dear? How sweet of you to visit, Siri. Was there something you wanted quite so? Wanna chat, Blanche? There's a rumor going around you're a bug whisperer. As far as rumor goes, that's not half bad. I've certainly been called worse. That's, oh, that's so cute. I guess she got rid of her um, lucky cricket. I try to keep the place nice for guests. Just don't break out the white glove and look for dust, okay? Oh my gosh, I could see her doing that at my house. All right, I wanna see if she wants to trade anything. I'm so embarrassed about the mess. Please look straight ahead and ignore the dust bunnies, okay? That would be so cute if there was a villager who was a dust bunny. Wouldn't that be precious? Oh my gosh, I would love that. And is she going to trade? I just want to see. Blanche, I have so much cool stuff. Nah, she's not in the mood. All right, bye Blanche. It was very nice to see you. All right, so 
let's go ahead and I think maybe we'll pop in and visit Caesar because I want to show to you guys how he actually did set up the the vacuum I gave him. I was laughing so hard about that. But he did take the upright vacuum off of my hands. And yeah, look at that. So Caesar now has two beds for some reason. The ladybug I gave him, the pilot suit that I sent to him, and the upright vacuum. So I think it's kind of hilarious. Caesar? Hey, yes, Siri. That's all I had to say, Highness. So did you need something? What's the latest, my friend? Lately, I get the feeling there's a lot less trash and fewer weeds, yeah? Fewer wilted flowers, too. Is this because of the Keep Moss Tree Beautiful Ordinance that you enacted? Well, it makes the town look pretty stinking nice. Ga ha ha ha. Thank you, Caesar. You really are pretty nice to me. You're helping me out with my gorilla issues. You're the lucky winner of my tea set. Congratulations! Wait, what? <laughs> That's so cool! Thank you! I found that lying around and it wasn't really my style, so there you go. And don't worry, I probably won't come by asking you to pay for it later. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, Caesar, why are you so nice to me? He's trying so hard to help me get over my gorilla thing. I heard someone from any town designed it. You know, not half bad, right? So he's enjoying his, his new outfit too. Bye, Caesar. Wow, I came over just to see how he's doing and show off his vacuum and how he's like nice and tidy. Uh, even though his house is in the, like the most awkward spot. He's just so friendly to me Okay, so let's see what this tea set is about and then let's go and start the fishing tournament you guys. I'm so excited I love all of the tournaments and the special events and the traditions and everything we can get up to in our village uh, I'm so happy. All right, so tea set Oh, it's so cute. Oh, Caesar. You know what? I take back I take back everything I've said about being okay with you moving. Caesar is beginning to really worm his way. Well, worm sounds like not very polite. Caesar has really charmed his way into my heart, to be honest. Now I even have an adorable little tea set from him. This is just so much fun. Oh, I love it. All right, and I don't think the villagers are gonna be trading me a lot of the items that I actually have. And I don't know, I kind of want to keep the spooky wall lamp, but I don't really need to. We have the milk case, polka dot closet. Um, maybe put the polka dot closet down for a second. It's so perfect. It's so perfect for a bug room. I just think it's adorable. Look, it can go next to my my ladybug for a second. Oh, see, see, that was the plan. Oh, that's right. And I was having, ah, oh, I have so much stuff. I was having um, Cyrus actually change the look of one of the items that I gave him. Okay, most of this is gonna go in C. C is where I kind of keep things that I'm okay with trading away or doing those kinds of things with, but I think we just need to sort of clear out our inventory. Nobody is really gonna be in the mood. I might sell that emerald. Nobody is really gonna be in the mood to do a lot of trading with us today, I don't think. So let's go focus on fishing. So excited, so excited. Also, you know, I haven't seen red in a long time. And I wonder what other kind of, I haven't seen Katrina since that very first time she came to visit either. So, huh. Well, we'll worry about that later. Today, we're going to go fishing. I'm so excited. So excited. Do, 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 do. Let's go over and see what's happening in the town plaza. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Look at this big, beautiful tent. Oh my gosh. It's a special event tent. Hello, Chip, uh, I think is your name. Yeah? Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First fish tourney, right? Well, for this month's tourney, any kind of fish will do. Really? Whoever catches the biggest fish is the winner. When you catch a fish, bring it to me and I'll measure it for you. Every time you break first place record, I'll give you something good. Try your best to get first place. I'm accepting entries until 6 p.m. If you're in the top three at 6 p.m., you'll be in the award ceremony. So fish, 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 and fish while you're at it. Bring me all the fish you can. Nook, nook, nook. Oh gosh, he's a beaver. He's so cute. Oh, I should let you know. Fish you give to me will not be returned. Nope. Keep that in mind, okay? Well, good luck. Try to catch a nice, big, juicy one. Nook. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, so I wonder what happens if I give him my seahorse. Let's start with the seahorse because I think it's gonna be super tiny. All right, that's fine. Check this out. I got a little seahorse the other day and I think you can't really start smaller than a seahorse so I can work my way up and hopefully earn some gifts. Hmm, 3.5 inches. Not a new record. By the way, best entry so far is a bitterling caught by chatter with a size of 3.4 inches, 40 inches. Okay, wait, let's talk about seahorses. They're not that attractive. Am I still gonna eat one? Of course, bottoms up. Oh, he, oh. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. Okay then. Well, we 
we we gotta we gotta do what we can. Hey, everybody's everybody's working on the fishing tournament. I've seen some pretty big fish in the water today. Good thing I never like swimming much. Oh, Aurora, you're so sweet. Genji, are you as concerned as I am about how I'm doing? What I mean is, I'm about to pour it on. So watch, Otaku. All right. And then let's see, big top. I just had a great idea. After the finishing tourney is done, we should have a big old fish fry. How about we set them all free? You guys, what do you think? Set all the fishies free? Let them, let them be, let them be happy fishies. All right, so let's see what we can do today, you guys. We're gonna try to catch, oh, that bug startled me. All right, come here, fish fish. Oh, there we go. We're gonna try to catch as many fish as we possibly can. Wow, look at the size of this guy. So he's 25.9 inches. We only have to have a fish that's like 3.6 3 in order to beat the top score. So I'm gonna move him 25. I'm gonna try to remember like how big the various fish are and keep them organized by size. Aha, that guy doesn't look as big. He's on the wrong side, why? Why, why don't I have a bridge built over here yet? I really need to get a bridge built here, but I can't today because it's a fishing tournament day. Why? Cruel world. Hey, fish, fish. Yes, that's right. Pay attention. One. Come here, little guy. Don't worry. I'm sorry about the beaver. It's just the cycle of life, I suppose. But, all right. Come here. Come here. And what do we catch? Oh, he looks new. A yellow perch. And he's 14.75 inches, so... Let's see, he's definitely a lot smaller. So 25, and then we've got 14. So we don't have to get a very big fish in order to beat the current goal. And you wanna make sure you don't give him like a huge, huge one straight off the bat, or else then you won't be able to beat your own goal and get all the prizes. And every time you beat the goal, you get a prize. So you kinda have to like w strategically work your way up to the top. All right, come here. Come here, little fish. You look really tiny. I'll release you and save you from the beaver if you're you're not, come on, come on, if you're not big enough to break the record. Oh, he's so cute. Come here, come here. And, oh, it's a guppy. Oh, it's a pale chub, 5.25 inches. That's enough to beat the record already. So we can start with you, little guy. Nice, okay. And then we'll work our way down to the beach. I think we'll have some good luck at the beach. And, oh, dandelions. I tried to collect all the dandelions and put them over by the campsite, so that's useful. All right, so five inches of a pale chub. What about you, my little friend? Come here, little guy. I've gotcha, oh, there we go. Oh, and the beautiful butterflies. They must be here because of all of our, our flowers we have. All right, 8.3, perfect. So now we're working up from five inches to eight inches to, I think it was like 14 and then 25. All right, I think I figured out how to do this so that we can actually earn some of the prizes because the prizes are themed and they're really cool looking and they'd be perfect for like little, little interactive museum rooms that I want to build. Cause that's just my thing. I love, I love, love, love those kinds of museums that they make for kids, especially where everything is super themed. Oh, let's see if I can catch this. Hello, little one. What do we have here? A bluegill, 10 inches. Okay, let me think about where you would go. You would go right there. All right, in the little lineup of things. I think I saw a balloon go by just now. Was I just imagining things? Hmm. All right, we'll try catching another fish or two really quickly. Not the teensy tiny ones, I don't think. Well, I don't know. We'll try catching at least one teensy tiny one because maybe starting with super small guys helps since we we don't have much of a record to beat right now. All right, come here. Hey, hey, come here. You guys are so wiggly. Such wiggly little fish fish. All right, there we go. But yeah, one of the things I loved about being a a educator for elementary school kids was that everything was so themed. Everything looked so cool. Oh, it's just a little guppy. Oh, I'm gonna let him go. He doesn't need to be involved in this. He doesn't need to be nibbled on. I'm just gonna go ahead and there you go, little guy. I don't want you to get eaten. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, I loved the way that I, I feel like when you get older, everybody acts like it's not appropriate to sort of go all out and be super excited about something and make something really, really th like themed and really look pretty cool. Like the way that they'll make a bug room 
for kids with like bug chairs and bug tables. But I feel like that just gets you more excited about learning. So why not? Why not do that? All right, let's see. Yellow perch, 15.35 inches. So that one's kind of a, I don't know. I feel like he's a little bit smaller than the other one. So I'll line him up like that. All right, let's try this out. Let's see what Chip thinks about all of this. And then we can work our way over to some bigger fish to fry. Poor fish, <laughs> if it's not enough. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out this fish. Hopefully the pale chub is big enough to be able to break the record. Sorry, little guy, I'm so sorry. Yay, it's a new record. All right, now we're in first place just like that. All right, no, he's gonna scarf it straight down. He's not even pretending. He's not even pretending like the other guy did. All right. A ramshackle wall in honor of our record breaking. Hmm. All right, don't know how I feel about that, but let's go ahead and keep going. All right, so we got a ramshackle wall and now we're gonna step things up another level with the, the carp. Maybe I should go slower than just start jumping up here. Eight, eight inches, new record. Now I'm still in first place. Pretty big for a carp. Pretty sweet and stew. He's just gonna tell me, he's just gonna eat it raw. He's just gonna, he's tormenting me a little. <laughs> oh, oh well. I mean, I guess an adab table is what he's gonna give me. Okay. All right, sir. And we wanna keep going because right now they're just kind of random items. And yeah, it's kind of fun to get the random items, but we wanna sort of step things up so we can get the specialty items. So let's try with the bluegill. All right. 10 inches, new record, first place. Pretty big for a bluegill, good. All right, because I really want to get the themed items. Sorry, sorry fish, this is so sad. The poor fish, oh, yes, a squid chair. Yes, that's what we wanted, all right. Awesome, all right, so I'm pretty sure the squid chair is one of the themed items. So 10.5 inches is our current record. Hi everybody, wow, everybody is here for fishing. Oh, and there's no camper, but I do have the dandelion, so I can go ahead and plant the dandelion next to the campsite. That way the campers can come out and they can make wishes on the dandelions if they want to. That's my theory at least. All right, and then Chatter is just like running away from the flopping fish and hiding in the rose garden. So let's go see what the squid chair looks like. And then I think we might go down to the beach or we might look for something that's just a little bit bigger than 10.5 inches. I'm so excited. Cause these are those fun little like really thematic looking things. Let's go ahead and put this down. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's so cute. I mean, look at this, you guys. It's a squid chair. This is so fun. We can put this inside of where we'll have like our own private aquarium and it'll look so awesome. And then he gave us a dab table as well. Oh, this is actually a special item too. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. We've already got two of the special theme items. Oh, we need to be super careful and not just give him like a whale shark right away. And this is the ramshackle wall, which looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. That's all the pill chub got us. However, the ramshackle wall did make it so that uh, we can use that potentially in the future for decorating a themed room. So we actually got two of the special items already. All right, we just need to go find something that's like a little bit bigger than 10 inches, 10.5 inches. And let's see, what's a good looking? Oh, sorry, Chatter, you blended in with the yellow roses there and I didn't see you. Just walked right over him, poor guy. All right, hi everybody. Genji, oh, I'm so sorry, Tabby. I didn't, Tabby, pardon me. I didn't see you there, but I need to get past you. Fish, 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 fish. If I can't find a good fish, we'll go down to the ocean and find ourselves a nice big fish, but not too big, because we want to go in increments. I can't believe it's that easy. If I had figured that out, I would have gotten so many more of the bug pieces, and it's going to be months before like the bug event is back. Maybe I'll be able to trade like some some of my items to some of you guys for the bug pieces, because I would love to have a full set one day. All right, and let's go ahead and snag our net again, or our rod. Oh, there's another, another little fossil spot. Our town is rich in fossils, beetles, and peaches. All right, and we'll cover this up again. Sweet, all right, and let's go down to the beach, to the beach, to the beach, and get some fish, fish, fish from the beach, beach, beach. All right, let's see. Anybody here? 
I can run along the beach, I believe, but I don't know if I'll chase the fish away. Oh man, do they know it's fishing tournament day? <laughs> Have all the fish, like, fled into the deeper waters? They're like, no, it's fishing tournament day. Run away. They're gonna carry us over. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, sea bass, come here. Most days you don't you don't have like a purpose and people get really annoyed to see you sea bass But today I'm happy to see you. All right. Come here, buddy. That's right. Come here. You're a nice big fat fish I think that mr. Beaver will really enjoy you There we go All right, so 37.15 inches So he definitely wants to go all the way down there all right, so we'll check out any other fish along here. The sea bass, we might just be able to play like, oh, there's another, that's a decent looking fish. I want it between 10 and 15 inches in length. And then we'll be able to take it. All right, come here, no, come back here, buddy. And then we'll be able to take it and get more special items. I wonder, I wonder what the coolest fishing special item is. So, all right, come on. There we go. Oh, almost. Gotta be patient. Oh, almost missed it. <laughs> Gotta be faster than that, Siri. Oh, look, it's an actual dab. That's so cool. It's a dab for the dab table. And he's new. Oh, that's so exciting. Maybe, maybe we won't take him to the, maybe we won't take him to Chip, but we'll have to think about that because I really, you, you only get so many fishing tournaments. You know what I mean? But I think there's going to be fishing tournaments quite often um, over the winter months. So we'll have that to kind of focus on. And let's come over and let's see. Come on, little fish. You really want this bait? It's some um, of the best bait. And there we go. Come here. Oh, it's another dab. All right, sweet. 22.2 inches. I can't remember if that's bigger or smaller than this one, but now we can save. I think we'll we'll rescue this one and save him for Blathers. So he gets to survive. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad when it, like you're giving the fish to the, the beaver and he just eats them right in front of you. You're a big one. Sea bass, you finally have a use. Do, 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 do. All right, and... 40 inch sea bass, yes, that's definitely the biggest because I'm pretty sure the other guy was 35 inches So we're really working our way up the charts. I don't know if I'm gonna give him my well shark now I think I'm gonna keep my well shark. I don't think I need to, to share my well shark with him Because there's plenty of sea bass to be able to get those items with so we'll do just a couple more and snag a couple more items and then I may come back and work on this a little bit more today, but I think it's clear to see that I'm actually going to come in first place for the tournament. And 46 inches! Yes! We're gonna have so many special items. Do, 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 do. And we'll move you down there. Alright, anybody else? Anybody else who wants to be like between 10 to 15 inches? <laughs> which is kind of specific, I know, but I'm doing my best. All right, let's see which one of these guys comes first. Oh, Seabass is like, no, it's my food. And let's go ahead and see how big he is. So many Seabass. And 40.55. Mm, that one's gonna be a little trickier. I'm not sure which one came first in terms of size order. I think he would be, let's swap here. You would probably be, I think right there. There we go. I hope I have them in the right order. All right, well that should give us a lot of really cool items. So let's go ahead and go back up to Chip. We do have some emergency larger fish if we need. And I think maybe I'm, I'm biting off a bit more than I can chew by just immediately. Oh, and that's, that's the stuff I gave to Chips so that he can have lots and lots of things. All right, I think I'm maybe biting off a little bit more than I can chew by giving him the big sea bass because I don't think there's anything bigger until you get to the island fish, but that's okay. We should be able to get at least hopefully a few cool items from turning all these fish in. Hello, hello Chip. All right, so let's see what we got you guys. So exciting, so exciting. We're gonna turn in this yellow perch. I hope I did everything in the right order. Sorry, little yellow perch. 15 inches, new record, yay, first place. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> Marine pop floor, woo, another limited item. I'm so glad about that, okay. All right, I have more fish for you. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be a little interesting. But you know what, I actually did used to go fishing a lot. Um, when I was younger, my grandpa would take us fishing quite often. It's kind of funny because I'm pretty sure we went fishing a lot when I was a little kid. But, oh man, I got him mixed up. Dang it, so now he's gonna eat it, but I don't get anything because I got the sizes mixed up. Fooey. All right, so that's okay. Maybe we'll go try catching one more fish from the river really quickly to, to exchange for it. Um, because I just need something. Everybody's like, we're trying to get this fish, trying to get this fish. Which fish? All right, any fish over here? Just real fast. Something that's like a little bit bigger than 15 inches. Big Top, how you doing? Ah, aha, this guy might do. And come here. Oh, he's really willing to jump on the hook too. Oh, gotcha. All right, come here, buddy. And, oh, who are you? A black bass, 22 inches. All right, so 22 inches. Then he might be, I'm pretty sure, that, is this guy 25? I'm pretty sure that carp is 25. So let's go ahead. Yeah, because I already turned in the 15 inch one. So let's go ahead and turn in the black bass. Oops, sorry about the Mr. Mantis. So many mantises everywhere. All right. Hello, Chip. I think I have a better one this time. But yeah, I used to go fishing all the time with my grandpa growing up. It was something very relaxing. Um, I kind of wonder sometimes if he maybe uh, took us fishing to teach us how to be quiet as kids. Because you can't talk or else you'll chase the fish away, right? But I also think he just had a good time like having something peaceful and low-key that a guy like him could do with his rowdy grandkids. Football fish lamp. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so fun to look at all of our different items. This is going to be just so cool. All right. And let's go ahead and turn in a couple more. We're doing so much better than the bug one. This is awesome. Probably because you can keep track of everything a little easier. Let's go ahead. Turn in the carp. I hope the carp was the right size. Yes, 25 inches. New record. Wonderful. First place. Pretty big for a carp. <laughs> Chill sashimi. That's what they're good for. Uh, I'm almost becoming immune to watching him just snack on all of these fish right in front of my face. <laughs> the sea anemone bed! That's the one I really, really wanted! Oh my gosh, you guys, that's fantastic! I am so happy. Do you get one of everything? We're gonna have to keep going. This is so fun. We're gonna have so many special items. Next time, I'm going to collect so many bugs, and I will work with that chameleon to make sure we have all of the right bugs. Oh, we're gonna have so many special items. Let's see. 22 point- Oh, dang it! He was just a little bit- a little bit too a versatile snack fish. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, I'm sorry! I feel even worse when they can't even be turned into an item. Alright, so 22 inch fish. So, now it's gonna be a little tricky. Because I don't think we'll catch anything bigger in terms of inches. I guess they're going on inches rather than on like weight or anything like that. So now we're into the sea bass and this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. 37. Oh, did I give him one of the big ones first? Fooey. All right. Good luck, little sea bass. Are you going to be turned into a cool item? Sea bass is delicious. Exotic wardrobe. Interesting. I wonder if that's just a random item now. All right. And let's see. Any other records we can smash? But yeah, I think that my grandpa took us fishing as a kid when I was a kid because it's really, now that I'm older, it can be really confusing to interact with uh, like kids from outside your generation because 40 inch fish. Oh boy. I really hope I didn't mess up my records. Because they have like a way of speaking, a way of seeing the world, a way of interacting that you don't really know about. So I think that fishing was a nice middle ground for my grandpa. A crab clock, cool. And it, you could just be quiet and you knew what you were supposed to do. So man, I wonder, it's kind of like, I guess my grandma used to paint and garden with us too. And that's another thing where you can kind of bridge the gap between generations because it's sort of straightforward what you're supposed to be doing in the garden or doing when you're fishing. All right, there you go. Please? Is it? Ah! 40.85 inches. Okay. And that's okay. Well, we got the sea anemone bed, and that's really what I was after. And I'm definitely not going to give him my whale shark now that I know how easy it is to get the special limited edition items if you just kind of line up your sea bass in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in this. So I think this is my biggest sea bass, like 45 inches. 
Yeah, 46 inches. Sweet. All right. And then we'll go ahead and let him eat it. And then, yeah, if I'm in the mood later, I may go fishing just in my, my off time, maybe down to the island, catch some big fish, see how many limited items we can get. Squid chair! Two squid chairs. Sweet. But what I was really after was that sea anemone bed. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, all right, you guys, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's go and look at our special items. And if I remember, then later tonight, I will come by and I will show off, pardon me, chatter, I will show off the awesome trophy that I hope we'll snag. So let's go inside and I'll go up and visit Tommy and Timmy and see if they have anything cool later today too. Maybe turn some things into blathers. I guess we could run up there just really quickly together. I tend to make super, super duper long squid chair. Yeah, episodes, but it's just because I have so much fun. I love Animal Crossing. There's the crab clock, the exotic wardrobe. So, all right, there's some of the things we've won in my chaotic messy room. I'm such a pack rat with all of these things. What does the exotic wardrobe look like? I think this is literally just a random item that he sort of threw our way. This would look really good in uh, our museum, actually. So that's pretty cool. And then let's see, we have the sea anemone bed. This is the one I really wanted. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's gonna be the best decorative item ever. Sea anemone bed. We should make like a sea anemone um, chair bench in our zoo crafting world. Oh man, that would be so cool. And then what else? The football fish lamp. Oh my gosh, yes, this is so cool. Look at it, this is so cool. That's so exciting. So we did get a few really cool items in my opinion. So let's see, football fish lamp, there we go. We'll go ahead, put that on the dab table. And then let's go ahead and check out, dun dun dun. And this is the marine pop floor, which actually looks pretty nice, pretty nice. So that'll blend in really well with all the items in the fish. So yeah, all right, good. I'm happy about that. We have a tea set from Caesar. So basically Caesar had us over at his house for tea. He really is like very patient with me. <laughs> and helping me work on my my bias against the rest of the primate family ah all right and so let's go ahead and we're gonna zip our way straight up what is what's selling at retail today we'll check out my refurbished item later wallpaper wallpaper is selling well i do have that weird wallpaper that he gave me <laughs> that i could potentially give away to but let's go up and see what tommy and timmy have today just out of curiosity and we'll see if nook happens to have the hedge fencing that i really really want tommy and timmy and their little super teen tea shop which is so cute all right let's pop on in hello timmy how are you today? Oh, Timmy, you've got some useful things today and a security camera, I want it. <laughs> That's perfect for like a room where we could put in. Oh, I want it. That's awesome. It is so perfect for putting in like our museum room. That would be awesome. This totem pole would be fantastic. Eagle pole. We can talk about all sorts of the, I think it's mostly the West Coast Native American tribes that use those. And then this would actually be kind of cool a soda case. Have I had a soda case before? I think I've had a soda machine before, but not a soda case. So why would I buy it? I'm going to buy it because it would be useful in a future build. So that's why. Filling out a uh, spooky wall. We're good there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm okay though. There we go. And then let's see anything else I need from here. I don't think so. Red tile wall. Hmm. What does it look like my friend? Oh my. That could be kind of useful, but I don't think I'm gonna take it. It's really hard for me to find wallpaper I like I'm finding. All right, what about the floors? Dinner, diner tile, huh? What does it look like, little one? Huh, that's nice and clean. Nice and clean. But I don't know if I want it. Um, No, thanks. I'm so picky about like the, the carpeting and the flooring. And then I think this is just gonna be, uh, it's the kitty carpet. He is really, I already bought the kitty carpet, but he's really trying to sell it to me again. All right, thank you, thank you. I'll buy the candy, the daily candy, and then I'll head out of here. A limited time offer for the candy. And there we go, so I won't forget. All right, bye Timmy. All right, and now we'll head out. Bye bye Timmy. And then we'll go over and just check on Nook really quickly and Celeste and then we'll be done for the day. Ah, oh, I love this village. I love, that's what I love about Animal Crossing is when you get to just jump into Animal Crossing, it's so relaxing, it can really make you happy. Everybody's happy. That's what I love about Harvest Moon too. 
Everybody's happy and you can just do nice things for people. <gasps> the hedge fencing, yes! I want it. The sculpted hedge. Yes, please. That's what I want. Yes. All right, that's fantastic. Well, that makes me super happy. Uh, so we got what we wanted actually, awesome. And then I kinda, I don't remember what my current door looks like, but now that I'll have hedge fencing, I'm so excited. Ah, oh, good job, Nook. That was really what I was hoping you would be carrying today. Now I feel like I need to give him a bass, like <laughs> so many fish, so many of those poor fish. <laughs> they're, they're gone, gone down the hatchet, but at least they got turned into really cool things. Pardon me, Blathers. I guess I do have some fossils for you. Uh, I'll have to give them those fossils, but I'll do that. I'll do that later. You guys don't have to watch that. All right. And now we have, what is this? I have to wake her up to ask her. Oh dear me, I do beg your pardon. I was just dressing my eyes. So um, that is a thermohydrinator. Using it either in your home, okay. What does it do? Uh, I'm okay. I'm kind of curious about what it is. Like I've seen it inside of the Nielsen Atkins Museum, I think. So I'm gonna have to look up what that does. But that's so cool. Oh, and there's a little, there's the little flooring. Celeste, Celeste, sorry to bother you. You're selling some flooring here? What is this, my dear? The <gasps> dig site floor? Oh, celebrating 30 fossils. I'll take it. I don't even know what it looks like, but I will take it. Oh no. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna donate these fossils. And then I am going to take that dig site floor because that sounds like it would be so much fun. Oh, quick, Blathers, 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 wake up, wake up. One day I'll add in that cafe so we can have like the pigeon who can give you coffee and maybe that'll help you out Blathers. I would like to assess some fossils and make a donation of a dab. And then I would like to go upstairs and buy the dig site floor, which I'm really excited about actually. That should be a lot of fun to work with. All right, any, any new ones? Yes, all right. Wonderful. Let me go ahead. I Of course, I will donate things to you. No problem, my friend. Give me just a second. Let me go ahead and make a donation. I would like to donate. We're donating a dinosaur track. Cool. So I think that's going to be another one of the, um, the pieces that actually stand up on the little stand. And then, yes, so he'll take all of these things. Wonderful. That's awesome, Blathers. I want that dig site floor. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thank you. There we go. Bye, Blathers. Oh, I love how there's an extension to the museum now. That's so cool. Let's go get our dig site floor. Dun dun dun. Dig site floor, dig site floor. Yes! Okay, Celeste. <laughs> oh, it does take a little bit of extra time to rewake the owls. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Celeste. You're fine. You're fine. Dig site floor sounds fantastic. I would love to take it. There we go. All right, and you know what, Celeste, I'm, and thank you guys for letting me know you can actually change the different rooms uh, as well. Like, the, no, she fell asleep again. I wasn't fast enough. You can actually change the different signs on the rooms, I mean, and I definitely plan on doing that in the future too. All right, hang on, Celeste. I would like to, I need more space, and I would like to have exhibit hall one. That's where I'm going to be putting in the, um, that's where I'm gonna probably put in all of my dinosaur things. So let's go ahead, open it up. We already have a spare fossil, so why not? And then thank you so much, sweetie. All right, and we're gonna pop in here. Dun, 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 dun. And do, do, do. let's go ahead and see what the dig site floor looks like. Oops, no, I don't place it in the room. <laughs> that isn't what I meant. I wanna place it in the room, but not that way. All right, spread on floor. It's so cool! I could just roll around in this mud. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so happy. And we have an Ankleo tail. Not even the- oh, that's actually kind of exciting actually. So I'm gonna leave that there and that's really fun. And that, I'm gonna leave the, the emerald on the floor too. Ha! That looks so cool! Alright, we're just gonna kind of leave things like that. Nice! Alright, you guys. Well, I think that covers everything for now, including my fun little... I get, do I have my exotic wardrobe with me, actually? Because we could go ahead and put that in here. This is kind of becoming sort of like a cultural costume um, shop. So let's pop this way. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. Uh, but yeah, I could put the exotic wardrobe kind of at the back. Surveillance camera, see an enemy, exotic wardrobe display. Dun dun dun! See, it looks really good there. And then I kind of want to put up the <laughs> surveillance camera hang on the wall. 
Come on. There needs to be space. Come on. Okay, if I remove these flowers, then I can exchange the flowers for the surveillance camera. What do you mean there's no space on the wall? There is space. Do you have to be like right up against the wall? Oh, there we go. Check it out. Now we have protection for our little museum too. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm having a fantastic time. All right, so we managed to achieve quite a bit with the fishing tournament and we managed to get some really cool dig site flooring, which I'm pretty pleased with. And the surveillance camera is actually pretty awesome too. And Caesar had us over for tea. So it's been an awesome day and I've spent so long with you guys, but I loved it. So I hope you are all having a wonderful day too and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.